you know, primary focus this summer, even coming out of development camp in terms of trying to improve? Yeah, my biggest focus was just getting stronger and faster. It's a quick league and everything happens fast. So um, just having that extra strength and extra step, it goes a long way. Do you feel like having gone to development camp that gave you a little step up coming into this one, having already met Toro and expectations? Yeah, I think so for sure. Development camp, we looked, uh, worked a lot on our habits and uh, just toning those in. So it was good to get here for a week in, in July and uh, just work on all that stuff. So it was good. Last year, uh, really the, the end of the season, Mike Yowitz said that after your first couple of games, things pretty much steadily improved every game after that. So how important was that time for you to get those games in and prepare for, for this year? Yeah, I think uh, it was a huge advantage for me. I got to come in and I learned a lot the last 15 games. And uh, I just took it one day at a time and tried to learn as much as I could every day. And I, I think just having that month of experience uh, really helped me prepare this summer of what I'm coming into uh, in the next few weeks here. Some younger players, Johnny, maybe would like a couple bad performances kind of snowball. How did you kind of compose yourself and, and regain your confidence? Yeah, I mean, it's the National Hockey League. It's the best league in the world. Um, if you have a bad night, you can't just sit there and dwell on it. You got to wake up the next day and, and learn from your mistakes and just keep working. You were skating with the Manolo bench out there. What were your impressions of him and what do you guys hope to keep playing together? Yeah, no, uh, we got to know each other at the end of last year. So um, we got some good chemistry and uh, just keep continuing to build and just keep our communication up. You said he put on 12 pounds in the off season. How much bigger does he look compared to last season? Yeah, a lot bigger. I mean, everyone's had big summers. Uh, everyone knows what they have to do to, to compete in this league here. So um, the summers are a big advantage for us and you got to use your time wisely. What have you heard about John Torello's camps? Obviously, I think they're pretty difficult, but what have you heard? Yeah, no, I heard it's going to be very demanding and uh, very tough, but you just got to come ready to work every day. And it's, it's definitely, not going to be easy, but uh, just come to work and we're all going to battle through it together. So excited for it. When uh, at development camp, when, when we talked to uh, to Mike O'Connell, he mentioned, you know, kind of having you watch, you know, maybe more like defensively or as a defenseman in the playoffs, Eric Chernak, Jacob Truba. Um, how do you go about, you know, over the course of a summer working on those defensive habits without the puck? You know, what types of, of drills, what types of work, or is it mostly just watching video and trying to understand it from afar? Yeah, it's, uh, it's mostly just watching and taking it in and learning and uh, seeing what those guys do. They're obviously very effective for their teams, and I want to provide that stability for our team here. So um, just taking in everything that I can and uh, building on it from there. I asked Igor if he ever dreamed about maybe playing with you one day in the NHL. Did you Have you gone over that in your mind that you two could one day be bearing? Yeah, I mean, I haven't thought about it too much, but he's a tremendous player, very smart, very good with the puck, and a big body. So... Um, would definitely love to play with him. You think you complement each other's styles? I think so, yeah. I think so. Anything else? All right. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.